right now we've come to Alfred Street to the Historic House Museum. And then the bakery. The bakery, the famous Kleinman's Bakery in Charleville is just show, across the road. I'll show you that later. Yeah. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, uh, this building uh, was first built in about 1888. Uh, it was a Queensland National Bank. Um, and then in about the 1940s, it was a private house for a few years. And then uh, it, the fellow's daughter turned it into a boarding house. And then about 40 odd years ago, the Historical Society turned it into a museum, which it still is. Down the back, they've got a couple of old uh, fire engines, uh, rail ambulance, bus, other uh, horse-drawn vehicles, other trucks and things cool. like that. Most people normally start around the side there and then just wander through. More than one take photos. Perfect. Yeah, most things got tea towels, postcards and that sort of thing for sale. Uh, yeah, so just wander through and take your time. Cool. Thank you very much. Around. All right, we Thank will. You. Thank you. The old bank vault, John. Yeah. Good fundamental, so you can't... Oh, it's yeah. all bricked. So, can't get in there though. No. Look at the um, old projector. Have a go at this old cash register. It's a collection of old phones. So I grew up, or John, or John and I grew up with that type of style phone. Oh, look at the old Nokia. Having phones come a long way. Well, the ladies working at the switchboard exchange. And here we go with a switchboard. Original bottling machine. Has anyone ever heard of a pluviograph? This is it. This one's a wedding dress here, worn by Thora Agnes Marshall of Charleville in 1945. And this little pink one here, belonged to Patty, Betty and Carrie's grandmother Emma Jones. This wedding dress. And the gramophone. 
that one's 1915 and this one hasn't got a date on it this one actually still works they say then you come outside out the back door of the museum it's this yard things to look at. Let's go inside. Could you imagine someone hand building that? It's all crafted by hand. Crazy, isn't it? Not machine. Yeah. Like the old, old ringer. It's a mangle. It's not a quarter ringer. It's a mangle. So, they're like a few newspapers or something, aren't they? So no, John, not for a newspaper. It's for washing. washing. Yeah, let's have a look. We'll just put this on here. One of my high school friends, her grandma had a fireplace exactly like that with her wood-fired stove. Same colour too. Historic House Museum. Okay, so we're just finishing the historic historic house museum. Oh, it's worth a look. Eight bucks. Eight bucks each. It had us a lot of stuff that we've seen in other museums, um, but also a lot of stuff that we haven't seen before. Yeah. So worth a look. Yeah. It made me realise that when my dad moved out of his house before he moved into a retirement village. We should have donated all this stuff to a museum. We, we could have created a museum with his stuff. We could have, but it also realize, makes you realise how hard they work in the old days. Yeah, like some of this stuff, like, we take life for granted, I think. But yeah. We do. Let's go back to the air car. Yeah. Oh no, we're going to the bakery next. Oh, let's go to the bakery. Let's go to the bakery. Here we go. Here's the bakery, John. Highly recommended. I think it's the only bakery in town, mind you. But it, it did come highly recommended. It did come highly recommended. Let's see what it's got inside, eh? We're just gonna, gonna put in all this delicious stuff. Here's our pie. Anything else you're after? Um, that'll be the lot today. Look at that bridge.
more pies. Who oh. <laughs> know, right? But these ones are supposed to be the best. Inchartable. So, let's give it a go. So we're coming to the Mulga Art Gallery. But, there's really not much the art in here, it's all digital. So I'm not really sure. Yeah. A little bit of Aboriginal art at the back. That is cool though, that is so well done when I do that. It is. But that's it. That's it. Or televisions with stuff online. Or like digital art. Yeah. I don't I don't even know if that's supposed to be I art. Know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm I'm a little bit lost. So yeah, this is a I don't know. This is all of these. Like we were expecting like paintings. We got this one. I don't know. People making faces. I don't know, but there you go. So that's what it was called, the Mulga Lands Gallery. And we were expecting when we saw all this on the front for it to be all paintings. There you go.